Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to your gaming and welcome to Ambulance Simulator 2012. A person has fallen over in a park and is complaining about pain in the legs. That person is responsive. Drive to the excellent location and try to help them. So, what the. I shrank. Oh no, I'm a dwarf! Oh, 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 oh gosh. Well, this is a good start. Jesus! I record the game and the first thing that happens is me cr crashing. Oh, okay, restarting. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everything in between and you know the whole thing because I just said it and we're not gonna repeat it again. We just received an emergency call from a nearby house owner. A man has fallen off a scaffolding and his name is Okay, so what is this game? It's an ambulance simulator. Wow, didn't expect that. In the title, did you? It's an older game. It's one of those German made games. German simulators. And it offers some interesting things, and the rest is pretty bad, <laughs> sorry to say. Like the camera, it's really, really, really annoying. I, I can't really see much in third person, but in first person, if I turn the mouse, it goes extremely slow. So there's that. Um, we're gonna keep this video short because I just, re just recorded it for half an hour and I forgot to press the record button. And the game isn't that interesting I think. Um, but I, I had this game for a while in my library already. I played it a lot in the past. It has some interesting ideas like you really have to help people do medical procedures and that that's the fun thing about this game. The bad thing is is that the driving and everything is rather boring. And that it's an old game by now. There are only two ambulance simulators as far as I know. This one and the 2014 version. However, the, the 2014 version is only in German. So, tough break if you don't speak German. Well, that's one thing if you can't speak it, it's more that I can't read it. Not too well, at least. Anyway, we see the man lying there. His wife is probably... Oh, he fell so hard that he fell partly into the ground. Hello, can you understand me? Stay calm and don't get up. Are you in pain? I fell off the scaffolding. Now oh, my leg hurts. I cannot get up. And my trousers are covered in blood. I also hit my head. So here's the interesting part of this game. You have to do medical procedures and you have to do them in the correct order to get more points. If you don't know what you're doing, too bad. It doesn't teach you anything. <laughs> really, it doesn't tell you what you should do. However, I don't think you can fail. You can just click as many times as you like and it only means you get less uh, points or experience. But uh, that's okay not like you can do anything with the experience it only unlocks harder things okay so we know his leg is in a bad shape it's broken and the scaffold is standing straight in his leg so that must be very painful but what we are gonna do normally you should say stop the bleeding first so we're gonna do that yes it was the right one as you can see in the upper right, upper right corner now, why do you want to stop the bleeding first? Because I can fix his bone, I can... Um, <coughs> sorry, I uh, had a dry throat. I can splint the fracture. However, if he's bleeding, he might bleed to death. So then, it won't do much now, would it? So, we're gonna splint his leg, and that's done. We have no worries about his leg anymore. So that's done. However, I can't check what's with his head anymore, so um, this will be really just a guess. Because he hurt his head, but what do I do against a hurt head? This is when um, you got something stuck, so to clear your airways again. Uh, this is. I know what it is in my language. 
just can't get to the English version. Uh, well, we're not gonna zap the crap out of him. Should, should we fluids bleeding? Should we stop the bleeding? Yes, he had a bleeding there. Would be nice if there was a bit of a, a graphical feedback here, like some blood on his face or something, you know. Not leaving me completely in the dark. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, we just. We, we, we just fixed him already. Don't give me a new call. Normally, it doesn't give you a new call when you're on an emergency call. Anyway, we're going back to the uh, hospital. We're gonna drop him off. Nice, 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 nice. Stupid idiot. Why, why are you turning there? My god. I'm surrounded by idiots. I would love to see an ambulance simulator made by the same developers as Emergency Call 112. That would be amazing. Please make it happen. Please make it happen in Emergency Call 112. I don't care if it's DLC. I would pay another 20 euros for it if, if you make it happen. You would make that game the wet dream of all emergency gamers. Really, it really would. It, 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 it would be very awesome if you could be uh, doing this kind of stuff in a proper simulator because this one really wouldn't be under the proper pulse. It really isn't that great. But it has some nice features as I said. It has the uh, medical procedures as we just did. But that's about it. You go from you go to the emergency, you drop them off in the hospital, and you go back again. And when you play it for half an hour like I just did, it gets a bit boring. Because a lot of these calls are just you being a taxi. You have to pick someone up and just bring them to the hospital without the medical procedures. So I think I'm just going to call the quit once I drop this one off. Oh yeah, you also have to obey the, the traffic law, so I just exceeded the maximum speed. So that's gonna cost me points, minus 50 points of my experience. Or oh, well, it would be bonus experience, I would get on top of my regular experience for completing this. Um, you can level up, but there are only four levels, and once you hit level four, that's when it unlocks all the emergencies. It's not nothing, nothing really rate or anything. It's not like you missed out on stuff. Uh, and the mouse is very sensitive as you can see. I only tapped it a little bit and it went all directions so that's not good. And it's very bright in here. My god. Yeah, Time deduction that took too long. Well I don't care. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think of this game. Would you like to see more or do you think it wouldn't be that interesting for a video here? Let me know and... Uh, no, not gonna do that. We're just gonna call it a quit. Anyway, thank you all for watching. See you here next time with your gaming. Bye bye.